Hey, this is Chan from Difference of Skill once again, bringing another deck, because I, I don't have much better things to do when I get off work, because people love to carpool with me. Anywho, so um, recently I opened a few packs. Um, some people opened their boxes, yada yada, stuff like that, you know. And then um, I finally got 50 of these, so my whole deck on the back is this card, so you can see I have a lot of these. And then today, the deck preview will be for the Murakumo. Now, this deck is very unique, as in, it is probably one of the best anti-meta decks right now. I think, like, and I don't say that like, oh, it's anti-meta because it can disrupt one thing. No, I think this deck is really, really, really good for anti-meta. So, um, this deck will be for sale. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but you definitely don't get these. You don't get the card backed. Um, yeah, the card backed cards. Basically, it's just two cards stuck together. But then, you know, it's a pain in the ass to get 50 of these. So, anyways, um, first I'll start off with the deck, and then next I'll probably do um, a deck tutorial or, you know, deck guide. Okay, so first off, you get this is one um, evil for it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll explain what these things do later. So, alright. Four heal triggers. Now, this is heal trigger on both sides. So, yeah, sometimes, like, as a joke, whenever I damage check, I'll go like, oh, heal trigger, and they'll be like, oh, shit, damn, and they just let me through, but then I'll tell them that I cheated. Anyways, so we got four heal triggers, and four stand triggers. The stand triggers effect sucks, don't even think. Oh, crap, it's off camera. Four <coughs> stealth beast moon edge is your critical trigger, and four draw triggers. Oh, God, this glare. Damn, this place sucks. I'm in the VIP room right now, so it's, it's, it's really noisy outside. Like, the walls are shaking because the base, are cr base is crazy. So, yeah, I just got a generic trigger lineup. So, stand, crit, draw, heal. All right. So, and then for the green ones, there are four. Um, Stealth Beast. Don't know what the hell your name is. So, he's your generic 8K beater. Get four Stealth Beast Leaf Mirage, which is your perfect guard. And he does look pretty cool, I gotta admit. I like this card. You get four Stealth Dragon Turbulence Edge. Man, I just, I just love the, the names of the, these cards. And uh, it's a 6k booster and is a pretty cool effect. And I'll explain all that stuff later, though. Uh, okay, so here is a cool, another cool card from Murakumo. Um, Stealth Beast Million Rats. It's also a 6k booster. Alright, so after that... Uh, Maybe I'll just put these in perspective then. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so for a grade 2 lineup, you got... Oops. Oops. You get 4 Stealth Beast Bloody Mist. Uh, it's your generic 10k beater. It look, it's, a, it's a palette swap from Chigasumi from... Uh, what, what's that? Nubatama. But, you know, this card's pretty cool. Uh, you get 4... I like how I'm doing the formats different every time I pick up a new card. Uh, four Stealth Dragon Cursed Breath. Um, he's an 8k with a cool effect too. But all these effects I'll explain later. And two Stealth Archer. Swift Archer Fushimi. Fushi, Fushimi, yeah. Stealth, stealth Ar no, yeah. Quick Archer Fushimi. Not everything's a Stealth Beast in this deck, unfortunately. So for the Great Threes, you get four Convert Demonic Dragon Lord uh, Mandala. No, Convert Demonic Dragon Mandala Lord. Um, he's one of the main reasons why this deck is really, really good, and I'll explain it a lot in a bit later, because I will be doing the tutorial video. So, and these are two, um, Twin Blader Musashi, has a cool looking foil on him, and one, uh, to be honest, he's just a filler. Uh, he's basically a copy of Mr. Invincible, and you hope to God you'll never draw him. But he's the best grade 3 that's not Zanbaku, because Dueling Dragon Zanbaku is hard as crap to get. But, you know. So, this is your deck, and um, now I'll go through all the effects. So, first of all, actually, yeah, no, it's fine. I'll, it'll be one video. So, first of all, this card, his ability is, when you ride a Murakumo unit, he moves to the back. Um, as he moves to the back, you can... Yeah, you know, he just stays in the back, you know, so it's like, you know, it's just a normal guy. And you can put him to the bottom of the deck, bottom of the deck, call anything from your hand. So if you're a green one, you can call him a dollar lord or anything you want. 
and then at the end of the turn, you can, no, not you can, you must return the thing that you, say I return put the spawn back and special and superior called this from my hand, so it'll come into play and at the end of the turn it'll come go back to my hand. Now that might seem like a pretty pointless effect, but it's a pretty damn good effect, and I'll explain why right now. So this card, Stealth Beast Million Rats, his ability is when it comes into play, you may counter boss one and search for another million rats. When that million rats comes into play, you may pay a counter blast, search for one other Stealth Beast Million Rats. When he comes into play, counter boss one, you can search for another one. Now, of course, you may think, wow, that's so broken, but it's not, because the downside is any, any Stealth Beast Million Rat called by its own effect will return to the deck, the bottom of the deck at the end of the turn. So you may think, like, oh, then why is that even good? So say you have Furret, right? You put him back, put him bottom deck, play one of these, play an, and use his effect, kind of boss one, get another one. Okay, that's, that's cool, all right? You got two boosters, you attack with them, and in return, he goes back to your hand, he goes back to the deck. Next turn, you can play it again and search for a few more. So this generates temporary advantage, but it's really, really good because, one, first of all, you need one card to boost your whole field for two turns. So you play him, get your whole field, goes away. Play him, get your whole field, goes away. So it's it basically generates your hand advantage in a sense because it feels like you don't have to play anything to boost. But of course he's only a 6k, so you know, he can't be perfect. Alright, Stealth Beast Turbulence Edge. This card, his ability is when a attack hits, he attacks. He, he's a grade 1 6k, so you know, this, this effect is quite... Uh, it's like you're probably not going to do it much, but when you attack and you hit the vanguard, you may look at the top five cards of your deck for a convert demonic dragon mandala alert, and if it is in the top five, you may add it to your hand. So of course, you don't expect to be hitting with this thing like at when they're level three. It's mainly like first turn play, just swing, because most of the time they don't block it. Then if you luck out, you can grab one of these guys. All right. So stealth beast leaf mirage and. Stealth Beast Bar, as I like to call them. Um, pretty, pretty standard, perfect shield and EK beater. Nothing fancy there. Alright, so Buddy Mist, you know, generic guy. Stealth Dragon Cursed Breath is the same as Stealth, Stealth Dragon uh, Turbulence Edge. When you hit with him and hit the Vanguard, you may look at the top five and search for uh, Convert Demonic Dragon Mandala Lord. And this is this card is why I really like this deck. Swift Archer Fushimi. Fushimi. Okay. So his ability is when you ride him in the Vanguard Circle, he can attack anything he wants this turn. Anything. Right rear guard, behind a behind a card, anything. So it's like a Tagus that can hit anything, but only in the Vanguard zone. Now you may think, oh that that's not that good. Well, it's it's pretty good, gotta say. So, okay, now you got four, Convert Demonic Dragon Lord. I'll explain him last. He sucks, but he's, you know, better than nothing. Now, Twin Blader Musashi is, when you have more rear guards than your opponent, this card gains plus 3,000, so buffing him up to 12k. Now, as I said earlier, these cards, these Million Rat cards, they generate your field advantage so fast that maybe they have five cards and you have two. Play this, play a rat, your whole field's full, gain 2k. Attack. Well, that was easy, right? This card is pretty good. Um, basically, only useful when you have Stealth Beast Bar behind them. But, you know, uh, better than nothing. And now. Da 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 da. The best card in the deck. Okay, this is Demonic. Oh, God damn, I hate these names. I'm getting tongue tied. Convert Demonic Dragon Lord Mandala. Wait, fuck. Convert Demonic Dragon Mandala Lord. There you go. So his ability is, Soul Blast 1, I mean, Counter Blast 1, Persona Blast, you set, put him in your Guardian Circle, so say you have one on the field, put him in your Guardian Circle, your opponent's card loses 10,000 power. Essentially, he's a 10k block in the hand, but he's something more. He's something a lot more. So in general, this deck is, uh, and you know, I'm going to make a more in-depth tutorial on why he's good for anti-meta, but you know, this is all my time, my camera's running out of batteries, so... Yeah, this deck is for sale. Um, PM me. Please don't comment. Or you could comment if you want. I'll, I'll probably still look at it. But PM me if you want to buy it. And bye!